everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad, the exact model is a Lenovo ThinkPad E15 and this one is a Gen 2 version. There's a Gen 1, Gen 2 and Gen 3 and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery. This applies pretty much on any E15 series, it's the same process. And it's really easy by replacing the battery, you're not going to change any configuration in the system or anything like that. It takes probably five minutes top. And at the end of the video, I'll show you, I'll give you a really good tip how to keep the battery life at the best state uh, performance possible. And you should, do, uh, should be doing that once every while, especially for the new battery. All right, first thing first, power off the laptop completely. And you want to flip it upside down. So we can see the bottom cover. We're gonna grab the tool, a screwdriver set. I use that fixed screwdriver set as I love this tool set. They're really hard and bit and they last you many years. I got the basic set, you can get the pro set. You're gonna use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. It's really cheap and handy to open in cases and covers. And pretty much that's it. Let's see, and if I miss anything, I'll let you know. So down here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All these screws will not come out entirely. Be much, you just have to rotate and loosen them up. Once they're loosened, then just let them go. And the reason because of the C-lock is that will prevent the screw coming out and also helps to counter push the palm rest away from the bottom cover. So as soon as I open this one, you're gonna see a gap opening in here. So I go start rotate and there, you saw that gap. And do a few more turns and let go. You wanna do that to all the screws. So go ahead all around and start rotating. Don't sit there and rotate extra, otherwise you're gonna be sitting there for days. Just rotate, few more turns, and that's it. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you found my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we loosen up most of it, we're gonna grab the guitar pick and we're gonna start where we initially open it up. And I'm just gonna lift it up like this and be much jacking it this way. About a two or three millimeter, you don't need to stick the whole guitar pick in there. Two or three millimeter, and you wanna hear those tiny click sounds, those are the clips that are getting loose. Do the same thing on the side. Get beside the USB jack and HDMI port and lift them up so you can skip them. Do the left and the right side. And there we go. Once you did the front and the side, you don't need to do the back, but if you want to, you go ahead, sure. But, but don't stick too much in there, just two or three millimeters. Now, when you wanna lift it up, you wanna see that there's a tension in the middle because there's a tiny hook in there that grabs it from the edge of the battery. So you wanna open it up a little bit, put your hand right on the cover in here and put the other finger on the palm rest and just do a few yanks from the side in here and it will release that hook. There we go. Sometimes like you have to yank a little bit harder. That hook is right over here. That just grabs it from here. You don't need that hook, absolutely you don't need it. So it makes it a pain in the bum to try to get that one loosened up. And then we have the bottom of the inside of the laptop. And right away, we can see the battery is right in here, huge battery, there's no more space to add extra batteries. The model for this one is a model name, is an L19M3PD5, or it says ASM part number and FRU part number, so many part numbers in here, but the model name. Search by the model name, I'll leave the link for this battery in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours. All right, first thing first, we can disconnect the battery by lifting up this extra gaffer tape that they left in here. That's the reason for you is to be able to pull this back. So grab this gaffer tape and slide it towards the battery and it will disconnect the jack. Now, what are we gonna do in here? You're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, and they have a lot of white arrows. You're gonna remove this screw that they have a lot of white arrows in front of them. Go ahead and remove them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching it. All 
So I'm not actually gonna replace the battery. I'm just doing a demonstration based on the request for you guys that putting. So that once we did that, you just lift it up and slide it forward because the back side is scooped in under the plastic cover. And there we go. This is one, two, three cells. You can see it very nicely right there. Three cell batteries. The configuration is on two cell because there's one, two cables in here, two negative, two positive. So there. Now that I say that you got the new battery, you want to grab the new battery. You want to scoop the back end of the battery right under the front by the speaker. Bring it down. And then you want to tighten up the screws. Also, if you want to remove the BIOS battery, the BIOS battery is right in here. It has a little adhesive. You have to yank it up. And you can just slide the connector and it will disconnect it from there. It's really simple. And if he's not holding up any configuration in the BIOS, you won't want to replace that. Is a CR2032 with cable. All right, let's go ahead and put the screws in. All right, now that we have the screws in, you want to grab the jack connector and slide it inside the jack. Make sure it goes in evenly, don't put it sideways in. Grab the bottom cover, align it over, push in the middle so it clicks in the middle click right there. And then you want to tighten up the rest of the screws and it will pull the cover to the palm rest. Just go around and pull them up. Also, just remember, once you have the new battery in there, before that, anything, just going to show you. Once you put all the screws, you're going to see some places that are like, okay, the case didn't close up. And all you want to do in that case is just grab with two fingers and pinch them together. Let's see if I have any gaps opening in here. Yeah, there is one right in here. So I put the screw in, but I see a tiny gap opening in here. So what I'm going to do, two fingers, pinch it, go all around. Even in the back side, grab it. Make sure there's no, uh, there was one right in here. And there we have it. Now, regarding the new battery that you have in there, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. Before you power it on, you want to connect the charger and leave it charging for at least four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to disconnect the charger and you want to power it on and you want to use it as a light work office job, stuff like that with the brightness down to 40 or 30%, don't put it too high. Pretty much what you want to do, you want to drain the battery slowly down to 30% or 40. And then once it's down to 30, 20%, you want to power it off and leave it charging at least again for four to five hours once it's up. And after that, you can just turn it on, use it, and charge it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge it is very important for the new batteries, and you should be doing that in cycle once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery in a good state. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.